Newcastle 3, Cardiff City 0. Finally, win at home. How are you feeling after that? It's it's a brilliant win at home. It's 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 a it's a, it's a well deserved win. With the team played really well. Fabian Sharp, unbelievable. He's he played really well in midweek, and we, we, we went in extra time in midweek. I thought the players would be tired, but they didn't show tiredness today. Cardiff are absolutely rubbish. They'll go down. Fulham will go down, and Huddersfield will go down. We'll still buy one point or something. Yeah, I think we'll still buy one point. Um, we need to sign people up, but as a regime of the club, might actually will not spend, so there'll be no takeover though, because that will not happen now. It's came out this morning that apparently it's not happening, is it? Uh, no one's matching the valuation, so that's not surprising, is it? It's not a surprise. We are worth, we're not worth 300 million, I wouldn't say, I'd say we're 250 at least, but they, they, someone did come in with 250 and might actually said no, he wants 320. Mike Ashley, if you if you if you want to if you want to not sell the club, spend money. It's very important we spend money. You don't want us in the championship when you're going to try and sell the club again, and we're going to be in the championship and you're going to be thinking, well, can it? No one's going to buy one. We'll be 100 million. That's all people will take for us. 100 million if we're in the championship. We've got fans who absolutely love the team. We support them every week. 49,000 there today. Few probably didn't go because Mike, Ash Mike Ashley's in charge. That's why. And Dennis Wise, all this news about Dennis Wise and Mike Ashley getting back there together and teaming up. Dennis Wise, please no, please don't be, please let's not hope that is happening. He might, well, I know Mike Ashley was there today. Let's say he, now he'll say, oh, well, we've won 3 0, we're not need to spend any money. Yes, we will need to spend money. There's still, we need a left back, we need a striker. And we need a creative midfielder. Perez is not good enough. He's good when he comes on, but when he plays a full 90, he's not good enough. And also, Richie taking him off, he's, he's an impact player, Richie, as well, because he, he works his socks off every game. You can't, you can't say a bad word about Richie because he's really good. Atsu, Atsu's played well a few, for the few weeks. We need to get on to Watford, hopefully win that, and then see who we get in the next round. And then Man City. If we play like we did at Cardiff, hopefully, if we played how we did today, hopefully we can win. Alright, All right. anything else you want to say? And just, and that deadline day is going to be dire for Newcastle, it always is, isn't it? So, no, we're not going to, we might sign a Dutch player, you might, you might go, oh, we'll sign a Dutch player, and he's, it'll be like a Dutch centre back or someone, and then we'll probably sign someone from you uh, out of the league who's like a striker, but he isn't proven. We need a proven goal scorer. Nias, he's a good. I thought he would be all right against Cut Post for them today. He wasn't. No, nah, I thought that was a good loan signing, but he didn't do nothing. Did he? he didn't do now. I think they've, they've put him in the team too early. I think because he just signed yesterday, having him in the team, he hasn't trained with any. He hasn't trained with Everton. I don't think when before he yeah. went. So Nias will hopefully not come good for them. <laughs> yeah, no. But they've got Arsenal next week, so. Right. Fool. All right, cheers, mate. Nice one. Cheers, see